हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सिल पराग जामुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू टेक स्क्रीनशॉट इन सेलेनियम सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव टेकन स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ कंप्लीट स्क्रीन राइट हियर इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू टेक पार्शियल स्क्रीनशॉट पार्शियल स्क्रीनशॉट दैट मींस स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर वेब इलेमेंट सो सी सेम कोड हियर आई हैव टन दिस कोड इज फॉर टेकिंग कंप्लीट स्क्रीनशॉट नो सी दिस कोड दिस टू लाइंस हियर वी हैव रिटर्न फॉर फुल स्क्रीन स्क्रीनशॉट Now see, we have to take partial screenshot. This feature is added in Selenium from version four. So this is Selenium four new feature. Now see how to do that. We'll see. Here we have opened same website Amazon dot in. Uh, suppose in this text field, suppose you want to type something, pen drive. and we'll take screenshot of this web element first thing that we have to do that we have to click here and after that we have to type right so first thing that we have to click now see what we'll do we'll inspect i will find out x path for this so see directly i'm taking by using selectors of so see one element matching and it is also getting selected so we'll copy it now see so driver dot find element by dot x path and in double quote will paste it now see what we will do we will save it to some web element object web element suppose uh, some name i am giving w1 something like this so we'll saving we are saving it to w1 now see we'll import package for this web element okay now see first thing that we have to do so see So before typing, you see again I am refreshing it. So see first thing what we have to do, we have to click here, right? And after that you have to type, right? So see first thing that we have to do that we have to click on it, right? Next thing we have to type something there, right? So here we will pass some text by using send keys method. Suppose here we will type pen drive, right? After that we will take screenshot. So see here we will type pen drive. And after that, we'll take screenshot of this web element. Now see. So to take screenshot in Selenium four, in Selenium four, new feature is added. So directly we can call this method get screenshot as by using this web element. When we have to take full screen screenshot, so at that time we have called this method by using this class text screenshot, right? So we have type casted this driver object to this text screenshot class. And by that we have called this method. Now see here we'll call this method by using this web element. So see w1 dot get screenshot. So see here you can see same method, right? So method I am calling. And here same way we have to pass this. So see here we have output type dot file. So same thing here we'll pass output of this will be a file object just like this. So see here what we are getting. We are taking screenshot and that we are saving in file object, right? So same thing we are doing here. File. So some name will give F one is equal to. Now see what is next step. So now screenshot that we got in F one object, but we have to copy it to the dix file, right? So same thing we have done here. Here we got screenshot in F and then we have copied it to this disk file, right? So same thing here we'll do. So see, I am copying this code. So see, F means this F one, right? Now we want to copy F one, and uh, suppose see the same folder, but new name we will give. So here, text box dot jpg. Okay, so this name we have given. Now I'm saving it. Now we will run our code. So browser got open. Now see, pen drive is also written there. Now see, we'll close it. Let us see. So we'll open. So here you can check. So see, we got these two screenshots. So one is this. So this is complete screenshot of whole page. And see, this is the screenshot of this text box. This text box, right? So that we got here, right? So 
this is a partial screenshot screenshot of that particular wave element and previously that we have seen this is a screenshot of the complete screen now see uh, we will take one more screenshot let us see. we will inspect this if i take cursor over here so it is getting complete box is getting selected right so we will find out x path for this so see what we will do div tag and we will use this class copy now see add see and instead of double quote what we will do single quote single quote let us see so three elements match we are showing three elements match but we want one anyhow it is getting selected because it will be the first one but still what we will do we will use indices so round bracket i have enclosed it in a round bracket and let us see if i do one so one element matching and it is getting selected right so now we will use it so see another screenshot we will take another partial screenshot we will create one more web element object suppose we will give name w2 is equal to driver dot find element by dot x path so in double code we will mention that semicolon now see we got web element here and now see we want to call our get screenshot method right so see uh, w2 dot get screenshot here we will mention output type dot file and at the end we will put semicolon then again same statement files so better we will copy it We'll copy it and here I will mention it. Output of this will be a file object, right? So we'll create one more. F2 is equal to this. So see uh, output of this will get saved to F2 object of file, right? And this F2 object will mention here. Now we want to save this F2 object into disk file, right? So we'll give some another name. Suppose uh, box.jpg, something like this. Okay, and whatever the screenshot that we got before, so we'll delete it. Okay. Now see, we will run our code. Okay. So see, now I am closing it. And see. Here you can see. So see, this is a complete screen. This is that box that we got. And this is a text box right so in this way we have taken this partial screenshot of these two web elements now see uh, suppose we want to quit so we'll see uh, after launching it we want to close that browser so we can do one thing driver dot quit that method we can call now see if i run this so see browser got open and close also Okay, and here we got the screenshot. Right? So in this way, we can take partial screenshot in Selenium. So this feature, this new feature is added in Selenium from the version 4. I will provide this code in my blog post and blog post link I will provide in description box. From there, you can take this code. So friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.